Hey everybody, this is Greg from DoItYourselfMusicBiz.com, putting one down for Machine Masters. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to rewire a machine into Logic Pro X. Um, there's a couple of ways to do it. Um, you can either use multi-timbral if you want to have everything tracked out and you want to control every little nuance in machine as far as um, kick snares, hi-hats, like literally everything um, on the pads. Uh, but what I like to do for you know, for what I do is I just like to go to the uh, software instrument. Um, for this, I'm just going to use one track, hit create. Go ahead and change this here. Change the instrument from the electric piano. Go down to AU instruments, go to native instruments, go to machine. Um, here you can pick Again, whichever, however you like to track out, I'm going to go ahead and do, um, well, since, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and, and do the multi 16 mono and <clears throat> you should see machine float up here. Okay, there we go. So machines up, uh, my hardware interface has just lit up, uh, go ahead to users, click on a track and, uh, technically we're, we're, we are rewired right now. So, I mean, that's how you rewire. Uh, but from here, what I like to do is I like to, let's go ahead and change the tempo here because it totally just screwed everything up. Um, go back to machine and for me, this is just, let's go to the drums. Actually, let's turn this down a bit. Because I do know I had this kind of hot in machine. Uh... Okay, chops. Okay, and so typically, just what I like to do is I like to use machine as the skeleton. I build the beat out, and then I go and I track it out in a DAW, and in this case, it's Logic. So uh, what I do from here is go ahead and click the group. I'm going to be dragging the MIDI over. So it's MIDI's make sure that your pattern to drag is set to MIDI. If you're doing MIDI, if you're doing audio, it's going to be audio, but we're doing MIDI. So it's MIDI. Then you go to sound MIDI batch setup. Uh, sometimes it's not set to this. I believe when you first um, open up this uh, little tab here, it's actually going to say restore to defaults or won't be highlighted at all but make sure it's on sounds to MIDI notes you go ahead and hit apply if you don't have uh, if you don't have anything highlighted here where you actually have the drums um, make sure you have it highlighted otherwise you can't drag anything over for example let me show you so you can't drag anything so make sure you're has have the correct parameters highlighted and then from here whoops from here you just drag it on in and there we go let's go ahead and close that it's kind of kind of getting in the way there a little bit so if you double click on this you can see that you see all my drum notes in the uh, piano roll it's the kick snare hi-hat etc and what I do from here to have more control is I just right click and I separate by note pitch so everything within the bank that's being controlled, everything that's being trigger, triggered actually goes to its separate track. So it's the kick, um, the hi-hat, double click that so you can see it. I'm sorry. Oop. There we go. Had the wrong thing highlighted. So you got the snares, the hi-hat, the kick, etc. And I do this for every bank uh, and machine until I get it all tracked out. Then I start uh, reworking the mix and everything like that. So that's how you rewire machine into Logic Pro X.